Hello guys, this is question 2.49 and we have to find the errors in each of the following statements. Okay, these statements are given and we have to find what we have to find the errors in these statements. So the first statement is the probability is that an automobile salesperson will sell 0, 1 or 3 cars on any given day in February are respectively 0 0.19, 0 0.38, 0 0.29 and 0 0.45. Okay, so these are basically the uh, different probabilities which are probability of 0, probability of 1, probability of 2 and probability of 3 cars. Okay? And I know that in the probability case, what do we have to do if I will add them all? All the probabilities should give me the answer of 1 because the probability of any event A is always greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1, okay, because that is basically the range in which the probabilities should lie under, okay. So, here let me start writing all the probabilities here. And here in order to see that what are the different probabilities let me use this color so the first probability is 0 0.19 the second one is 0 0.38 the third one is 0 0.29 and that one is 0 0.15 okay so let me add them and after adding them I will see that uh, what are basically them so let me add them so 9 8 17 17 9 is 26 26 uh, 5 is 31 1 here and 3 here 3 1 4 4 3 7 7 2 9 9 1 10 okay so 1 here and this would be 1.01 which is basically greater than this range okay so therefore the actual issue here is that all the probabilities are not in between this range so therefore the error here is that these are basically the incorrect statement okay so that is basically about the part a of our question similarly in part b the probability that it will rain tomorrow is 0 0.40 and the probability that it will not rain tomorrow is 0 0.52 again we have the probabilities of two events uh, if there are two events a and b in the sample space so if i have certain probability of a let me have it here x so the probability of b here would be what that would be 1 minus x because the combined probabilities of a plus b in the sample space is always equal to 1 okay so here in order to add them together what i will see that the probability of rain okay plus the probability of no rain let me add them together and I will see that this is what this is 0 0.40 and this is 0 0.52 so 0 0.4 and 0 0.52 so here I will get what here I will get 0 0.92 which is what which is incorrect because it must be equal to 1 due to this statement which is given so that is basically the incorrect statement uh, similarly, in part C, the probability is that a printer will make 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 or more mistakes in settings a doc, setting a document are respectively 0 0.19, 0 0.34, minus 0 0.25, 0 0.43 and 0 0.29. Okay. So, what is the issue here? There is an issue and that is basically this negative probability. As I have already told you that this should be the range in which the probabilities should lie so that is basically the issue which we can see here as well okay uh, similarly uh, in part d on a single drop from a deck of playing cards the probability of selecting a hurt is 1 by 4 okay that's correct the probability of selecting a black card is 1 by 2 okay that is also correct and the probability of selecting both a hurt and black card is 1 by 8 oh so that is basically the issue because in a single turn or in a single chance a person cannot pick both hurt and black card as well so therefore it it is not possible that of selection of a black and a hurt card 
in a single uh, time so therefore that is the issue that these cannot occur simultaneously and that is the solution of this type of problem in which we have demonstrated them here we have seen that what are the issues of the probabilities or what are the conditions which are negating the basic probability laws okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more stuff in our upcoming video see you soon